Tournament Day is always kind of the culmination of a lot of hard work. We have every school in Arlington represented now. We have all 23 elementary schools that send a team to play for us. All the fifth graders participate in the Math Dice Tournament at Jamestown and the fourth graders got to watch and Cameron was hooked. He came home, we talked about Math Dice, we listened about Math Dice, he explained Math Dice, um, and then he asked for his own set of Math Dice for Christmas. It's like a fun way to yeah. do math. Because I'd rather do math dice than I'd rather, math I'd dice much rather learn my exponents doing math dice. It's a lot easier and much funner. Yeah. It's fun more fun. <laughs> Fast to do. So a lot of our standards are around fact fluency. The kids kind of learning their addition, subtraction, multiplication, division facts really quickly. But this is a really fun way to do that outside of like worksheets or flashcards. It gives the kids the opportunity and the incentive to learn their facts really well in a game environment. They don't even realize sometimes how much they're learning when they're playing, which is awesome. I've been using Math Dice about 10 years. The moment that we introduce Math Dice, that's all they want to do. Um, I have students who come during lunch and recess who would rather do Math Dice than go outside. Their math fluency has definitely increased. Their knowledge of exponents and order of operations is much stronger in fifth grade than I would say in times where we don't use math dice as the instructional tool. Two to fifth? 32. 32. Three to third? 27. 27. Four to the third? 64. 64. 64. <laughs> the sportsmanship and the collaboration that they build from doing it throughout the whole year is something that I don't see without math dice. 